Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we will be doing the detailed camera review of the latest device from Oppo under the Reno series, the Oppo Reno 12 5G. Now Oppo Reno 12 5G comes with a triple camera setup and a pretty good selfie camera as well. So let's see how good the camera experience is for this price segment and let's analyze the camera samples taken with the Reno 12 5G. So before beginning, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So first let's have a look at the camera hardware. Now the primary camera is a 50 megapixel Sony light 600 sensor with optical image stabilization f1.8 and 26mm focal length and it has a face detection autofocus. Now the secondary camera is an 8 megapixel ultra wide Sony IMX355 sensor with 112 degree field of view and f2.2 lens. Now the third camera is a 2 megapixel macro sensor it's an omnivision sensor with a 4 centimeter focusing distance. Now on the selfie front, we have a 32 megapixel selfie camera with uh, f2.0 and uh, we also get face detection autofocus. So that's the camera hardware. Let's go straight into the camera samples to see how it performs. First step, let's have a look at the daylight captures. In terms of daylight condition, you can see that there is good amount of details. The sharpness levels are quite good. The colors are rich and vibrant. Although there is no saturation issues, the dynamic range also looks pretty good. Oppo is known for pretty good uh, experience in terms of camera under the Renault series and the Renault 12 5G is no different the details are good the sharpness levels are also good and the colors are also nice and wide uh, there is no oversaturation issues and overall it looks good the greens are rendered well the sky colors are also really nice so overall i would say uh, in terms of daylight condition the reno 12 5g does a quite good job and there is nothing much to complain here and it's a good uh, camera in terms of overall daylight condition the 50 megapixel shooter does a pretty good job now moving on to the ultra wide you can see that the ultra wide angle camera has almost similar colors as the primary camera which is quite quite good actually although the sharpness level is not as good as the primary camera for obvious reasons uh, the overall quality is definitely good and it's definitely usable ultra wide angle camera from the oppo reno 12 5g so that's ultra wide now let's move on to uh, the close-up images now once again you can see here the details are quite good the sharpness levels are once again good and the colors are also rendered pretty well so that's the close-up shots but it also comes with a 2 megapixel macro sensor which is quite average i would say the 2 megapixel shooter does not have that kind of color reproduction it's kind of dull and muted colors and the sharpness levels are also not that impressive so it's just very average camera moving on to the portraits now the uh, phone can shoot portraits in 1x and 2x 2x is obviously in sensor zoom but you can see that the portraits are pretty good the edge detection is quite good and the skin tones are also rendered pretty well overall the portrait quality is good but when the subject is uh, with a complex background uh, the edge detection is a hit and miss thing but these things can be improved with software updates but overall the portrait quality looks quite okay for the price segment now moving on to the low light captures now indoor lighting you can see here with adequate lighting the images are good the colors are rendered pretty well and under artificial light condition you can see here the details and sharpness levels are quite acceptable in fact they are pretty good and they're pretty sharp as well but when it comes to extreme low light it's always better to go with the night mode and reno 12 5g does pretty good job with uh, the night mode uh, the details are good once again colors are pretty much uh, rendered well but, uh, even the extreme low light you can see that the sky colors are also pretty natural they are not artificially or boosted colors and the sharpness levels in extreme low light could have been a tad better but nothing much to complain but uh, we feel a bit of noise reduction and a bit more sharpness could have been uh, better in terms of the extreme low light now moving on to the selfie camera the 32 megapixel selfie camera does a good job uh, the skin tones are good uh, and uh, even the background uh, hdr performance is also good you can also shoot uh, with 8.8x 1x and 2x in the selfie camera and the colors are also good and uh, uh, the skin tones are also rendered pretty well now there is also portrait mode for selfies here you can see that uh, the bokeh feels uh, a bit too uh, strong but again you can adjust the bokeh uh, but hd detection feels quite good uh, in the portrait selfie so what do you guys think about the selfie camera do let us know your thoughts in the comment section now moving on to the video recording the phone can record 4k 30 fps video the video quality is good the stabilization is there there is ois plus eis combination and uh, the overall quality of the video also looks quite good and the dynamic range is also done nice and wide now there is also 1080p 60 fps again there is stabilization offered once again the video quality is pretty good for this price segment there is nothing much to complain in terms of video quality now a phone can also record videos in uh, uh, 1080p resolution for the ultra wide angle camera once again the colors are good and the stabilization is done pretty well 
So this is the front facing camera sample taken with uh, the Renault 12. This can record videos in 4K 30fps using the front camera. So you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the videos and also the audio output. So this is the stabilized uh, selfie footage uh, using the front camera. That's a 32 megapixel camera on the Renault 12. Uh, it can record uh, videos in 1080p resolution in stabilized mode and 4K recording without stabilization. So you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is. So that was a detailed camera review of the Oppo Reno 12 5G. So summing up, Oppo Reno 12 5G has a pretty good camera setup. Even though it's just an 8 megapixel, there is no telephoto lens. Uh, the overall quality of the photos, whatever it offers, is good. And there isn't much to complain uh, except for the macro shooter, which is kind of very much average. But otherwise, uh, the Reno 12 5G is quite a good camera for this price segment. But probably what is more disappointing is that the processor is not that great for the price segment. But if you're looking for a camera-centric smartphone, the Reno 12 5G does a pretty good job with the cameras so what do you guys think about the cameras on the reno 12 5g hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day